Hello there, and yo-ho-ho -ho to you all. Looking at the old Christmas tree. Come and have a look, Bragi. Ah, hello, folks. Hello there, um, Eggle. Yeah, what Eggle. a nice tree this is. Mm, there's a big tradition of Christmas trees. What a great point. And yeah. something we can talk about. Well, as you know, maybe the viewers don't, the Viking Festival of Yule. Oh, yes. Where you Good Yule. Yeah, you brought greenery into the home. And I go, a tree. And this also, they had... I think it was Ulla used to give presents to the children, putting them in their shoes. Later it became stocky. It wasn't until the 19th century, good Queen Victoria, God rest her soul, married good Prince Albert, such a big goth. And he bought the German tradition of the Christmas tree. Now, interestingly enough, they used to put candles on it. The trouble was, you know, trees burn and candles oh, burn. Oh, yes. And as a result, it wasn't really thought of. Now, Mr. Swan invented the light bulb around the time of Thomas Edison. And there was a production of a play involving fairies. And Edison had a great idea. Sorry, not Edison. Swan had a great idea. And he made lots of little lights which lit up. Had this big battery pack on the back, apparently, and it was a sensation. You imagine you're living in a world of gas lights and candles, and then all of a sudden you see these lights. And this is why these lights you probably can't see them the lights you have on your Christmas tree are called fairy lights. Yeah, well, I think at the end we'll turn the main lights off to give you a better mm. look of the tree. Yeah, so it became part of Christmas. Then, of course, you get Charles Dickens writing the Christmas tale. Christmas Carol and, and of course the whole thing about Christmas took off. Just interesting thing prior to the Dickens novel most people worked Christmas Day it was New Year's Day that they wanted off. No, oh, I didn't know that. And especially in Scotland for reasons best known. So it's Christmas. really a new practice having Christmas oh, yeah. Day off as a I holiday. Mean, Christmas changes over generations I mean we used to always have turkey before that, you'd have things like beef, which was cheaper. Oh, and, yes, maybe uh, a pig's head stuffed. Yeah. Well, I guess that again dates from the Viking days. What well, does? You brought the wild boar head in. So, there's a lot of history tied up with Christmas. So, when you're tucking into your Christmas pud, mm -hmm. your turkey. Oh, yes. And, of course, my, one of my favourites, sprouts. I love oh, sprouts. Disgusting. I've got a whole freezer full of them. A freezer full of sprouts? Oh, yeah. It's my worst nightmare, man. Little green bodies, I call them. Oh, I'll buy you some for Christmas next year, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, I was using sprouts this year from right. last year. My God, I could have written you out a sprout Christmas card. I've got some somewhere. Yeah. I like them, and it's, I think it's like a Marmite thing, you either like them or you don't. And how, how old are sprouts, and do they take back to the Dark Ages, or are I they a new thing? I have no idea. Is I it, mean, are they 16th century? Could be. Somebody's bound to know. Leave a comment. Yeah, let us know. I mean, I wonder if Oliver Cromwell banned them, you never know, because um, I like them. The knack is, don't cook them too much. If you're not sure what a sprout is, it's like a little tiny cabbage. Yeah, which is nice as well. Well, maybe. Why? Oh, people can boil them and they put cab um, bacon with them as well and almonds. But uh, So let's go back to the Viking times. There okay. you, there's old Eggholm. So every Christmas, would you bring a tree in and put it in yeah. your longhouse? Oh, yeah. And, and uh, you have mistletoe and all the mistletoe dates what from the pagan time old thing? of fertility. It was the one thing the Christians would not have. We'll get some mistletoe and yeah. we've got a lady host on the channel. Woof, woof, woof. woof. <laughs> but I mean, the reason the church didn't adopt it, I mean, Holly and Ivy can't get more pagan than that. Well, of course not, though. However, they wouldn't accept mistletoe because of its connotations and they said it looked like semen. Yeah. But, uh, apart from that, everything else is sort of... Christmas. Also find Christmas carols are also very, very interesting, yeah. don't you not think so? Well, and yeah. Then, you know, the meanings and the carols and well, I mean, the Christianisation of them and also the paganism that's in them still. Well, also it tales, dovetails nicely with um, nursery rhymes, you know, the political statements that you could make without being uh, yeah. done for. But anyway, that's another time, another Oh, place. yes. And would your tree have lots of decorations like we do? Would you be making wooden objects, uh, you know, hanging a, a long boat from, a long ship from your tree? or? I, Honestly, I don't know. But Do I we know not know that? In Germany, Christmas Eve is the big day. Yes. And they would have probably gingerbread with yeah. chocolate on it. Yeah. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit tall for this video. Yeah. 
I'm a bit short, so it really balance the sound. But yeah, I mean, all these things that we're used to, it changes a little bit. Oh yeah. I mean, they have great markets in Austria, Christmas markets, and mulled wine. Now, I watched a video the other day on, on the internet, yeah. and it had a man from Germany, mm. and he had 81 trees in his ass. There was a chap. Dedication. There was a chap in England, I don't know if he still does it, but he has every day. Yes. Christmas. As a turkey, wraps his present. That was on Channel 5, that yeah. programme. I don't know if he's still alive because the diet he's living on is a bit dodgy. Could you imagine having turkey every day? It's bad enough having it for like five or six days yeah. in a row. Christmas puddings. I had a lovely turkey dinner the other day yeah. in a massive Yorkshire pudding. Well, a friend of mine, uh, a couple of years back now, good grief, went to Warwick Castle and we had turkey and leek. Oh, I love leeks. And uh, we had a turkey dinner there and that was gorgeous. By the way, happy Christmas, Anthony, to you and your lady friend. Oh, happy Christmas, folks, as yeah. well. Happy and, Christmas. And to Rob. With the Viking tongue, good yule, good yule. Yeah. Have lots of fest festive parties. Yo ho ho, and lots of fat toms all round. Yes. Eh? Eggle will be going off to prepare to watch The Godfather on Christmas Day. <laughs> right, that's my tradition. On Christmas Day, it's Godfather 1. Yes. Boxing Day after I've been to my sister's. You'll be, you'll be legendary for yeah. this in the future. It's Godfather 2, and then the day after Christmas, Godfather 3. Somebody's going to write that all down one day and call it the Eggle Thorson Christmas Plan. Really? This is how you spend your, your Christmas as a Viking watching I'm Godfather. I'm only speaking through my. And thing, but to me, Godfather One is the ultimate. It's one of the uh, great films of the 20th century. And did you see, you know, between the, the Viking Age and, and The Godfather? Yes, a, a dear parted friend of ours who was involved in, shall we say, various activities. Indeed. And I, and I said to him once, the only difference between you and Egil Scala Grimson is a thousand years. Of course, so. He had his own code of ethics, which he stood by religiously but it didn't coincide with the laws and traditions of today and we need people like that oh, yes. to remind us and to get the wheels going around i don't agree with the things you did any more than anyone else but never mind i'm trying to be low here yeah. Yeah. Do oh, I? he's bouncing up and down here it's, it's a bit like one of those christmas songs when you bounce up and down to it it's christmas slade that is a it's not a holder here no, I too. The like, under the tree. I like the Roy Wood one. Roy Wood comes round here quite often. Not Derby. to this house, but to Derby. To Derby. It's not a friend of the channel. No. Nah. Well, yet. Hopefully. <laughs> if you'd like to write us a theme song, Roy Wood, we'll happily uh, play it. And if you if you're you watching, you can keep the royalties. And if you're watching and want to turn up, we'll be more than. Yes, ever. Braggy and Eggle interview Roy Wood. Well, when you think back, I mean, before your time, but in the sixties. Yeah. Roy Wood was a mover and shaker in the rock world. Just explain for the folks who don't know who he was. He was with the band called The Move originally. Yes. Then he was Roy Wood's wizard. I know where he is, but I'm not going to tell you. I've met him in Derby a few times over the years in the pubs. Very nice man. I've never met him. I keep saying I walk by the pub where he frequents, but if you see him next... I've not seen him for quite a few years, though. Yeah. I don't go to pubs often now. Oh, well, there you go. Such but if you're right. watching, Mr Wood, We'd be honoured if you would like to turn up. Indeed. And, uh, we'll have a wizard of a time. Yes. Hey, now, I think at that point we're going to end this long video talking about the tradition yeah. of the Christmas tree. And we hope we've answered enough of your questions. Mm. Uh, and if you've got any more questions about the tradition of bringing a tree into your longhouse mm. and as a, as a Viking, then leave it in a comment and we'll get back to you. And we do hope that this has been both entertaining and given you some value in content and that you've learnt from something and you've been entertained. And let us know if you like it or dislike it because we tailor our content to your comments. Well, of course so. And also, what do they do if they want to subscribe? Well, you just click on the old subscription bar, but don't forget folks to go and smack it first with the old tapping of the phone or pressing the old keyboard button or mouse. Mm. And also, go and click on the notification bell. That's the way we don't bell. use mouse. Oh yeah, see if Eggles had more mice again. I've killed a few through this holiday. Oh, they'll be keeping accounts of it on YouTube now. Or Goodbye what? from me. Goodbye.